Hello everybody, it's Pat of Pat1 here. This is the Nexus 5, and let's see how it does on battery. I've been using this thing for about, I'd say, two weeks now, and I think I have a good sense of how it does on battery. I just locked my phone with my face. How cool is that? Yeah, the Nexus 5's battery is not one of the fire points. The Nexus 5, it's okay. It's not that great. It will get you through the day. Most times, if you're not power, if you're not using up the power, either playing a game or watching YouTube and Netflix all day, most times I get home at about 15%, 20%, and I put it back on charge. One of the Nexus 5's downfalls is that they only put a 23 milliamp hour battery. You gotta think about all the things that suck in this thing up. You got a 1080p display that's sucking the battery. You got a Snapdragon 800 that's sucking the battery. You got an Adreno 330 that's sucking the battery. Everything's sucking the battery, and the battery's not even that big for a phone of this strength. A 3000 milliamp hour battery would have been nicer. The Nexus 5's battery is non-removable, so you will not be able to swap out batteries like you will with some other phones. Just make sure that by the end of the night you do charge it, because most likely in the morning it will be dead. I know sometimes I would leave it from tw from 20% and I'd leave it overnight and say, okay, I'll charge it in the morning, you know, wake up, see the time, or use that as an alarm or something, and it's dead. Where did the 20% go overnight? It just drained all the 20% just by standbys. It will get most of the users through the day, but if you do pound the sh** out of this thing with all its gaming performance, you know, making that CPU work all day, you know, doing games or, I don't know, photo editing, watching Netflix or YouTube or listening to music, it's not gonna last you all day. I would say stay close to a power source, whatever it may be, it's not gonna last all day for you. But for the moderate user that just texts, tweets, maybe the occasional game on lunchtime or something like that, it will last you, a, you know, about the whole day. I'm one of those people, so I do get about 20%, 15% at the end of the night. And you can check in your settings what specifically is draining your battery. We slide down from the top. There's two chains. Just tap that. And now we are going to go to settings right there. Now if we scroll down to battery, Right now, I'm 17% discharged. I've had a day, five hours, 17 minutes, 24 seconds since my last charge. Sometimes it does do really good on battery life and sometimes it does really bad. So, it really does fluctuate between if it's gonna do good one day and bad the other day. Like I, sh like I have another picture where it only did 14 hours and it was completely dead at 3%. And it's pretty good. It could, it gets me through mo it gets me through the day. Not really if I'm really hammering it hard with games, applications, YouTube, all day, or something like that. But, you know, for moderate usage, it does get me through the day. But that is that. Thank you for watching. If you have anything to add to this, maybe you have a Nexus 5 and you like to share your Nexus 5 stats, go ahead and do that in the comment section down below. I enjoy reading your comments. It makes me feel special. I will answer all your questions as much as I can. Like me if you like me. And thanks for watching. Subscribe for the latest in tech. Peace.